The Carolina Hurricanes advanced in an exciting Game 7 win over the Boston Bruins. Jared Ellis of Locked On Carolina Hurricanes is with us to talk about how they did it and what lies ahead in the Stanley Cup playoffs for Carolina. Your Locked On NHL, your daily podcast on the National Hockey League. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team, every day. And welcome back to the Locked on NHL podcast. Gil Martin, glad to be with you as I am every Monday. And thank you for making Locked on NHL your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. The Carolina Hurricanes scored a dramatic 3-2 win over the Boston Bruins to win Game 7 of their opening round playoff series. And Jared Ellis of Locked On Carolina Hurricanes is with us to discuss it. And Jared, how big a win was this for the Hurricanes organization? I think this was a very, very big win for the Hurricanes. Obviously, their playoff run is continuing, and that's great. Obviously, I'm never going to say that's bad, but I think this was a very important win uh, for the franchise uh, because you know, the Bruins, I believe that they, they are the team that we have faced the most in the playoffs. I believe this year was the fifth time we have faced them in the postseason. And then of course, in recent memory, they've been the team that we can't get past in the playoffs you know you go back to 2019 in the conference final you go back to 2020 in the bubble in toronto the bruins have been that team that the hurricanes can't get past and you know to be able to exercise those demons i guess you would say and get past them like you know back in the early 2000s with the new jersey devils you know to be able to get past that team that's giving you those issues Get over that hump. I think that's really, uh, really big for these guys. And especially for those guys that were on those teams in 2019 and 2020. Max Domi steps up a three-point night in a three-to-two win. Talk about his contribution and what it meant in Game 7 and throughout the series. I think it is one that uh, took a lot of folks by surprise, honestly. I. You know, you look at our host group chat, you know, no one was expecting that. You look at the fans on Twitter and social media, no one is expecting Max Domi to go off the way he did in that game because as a whole in the series, aside from a few moments here and there, bit of a non-factor. And then he goes out in Game 7 and is the Game 7 hero. You know, and it's obviously, you know, we love to see that. You know, moving on to the next round, of course. I just want to see him be able to keep that up. You know, let's not let it be a one and done type situation. You know, you look at uh, 2019 against the Capitals, like our last big game seven type situation. Brock McGinn, yeah, he scores that double OT winner over the Capitals. It wasn't just a one and done thing with him. You know, he, continue to be a big part of the Hurricanes team up until he left in free agency. So I want to see Max Domi continue to have success and not let it just be a one and done type thing. Talk to me about Antti Ranta, the goaltending. I mean, he really stepped up when it counted most. Yeah, this is exactly what the uh, ownership and general manager, Don Waddell, and all those folks, that was what they were wanting whenever they brought Antti Ranta in this offseason. You know, they obviously know, you know, he's not going to be the number one guy. You know, we all know that. But we want a capable, you know, number two option that can carry you if your number one's out. You know, Freddie Anderson, you know, hopefully he'll be back for round two, but we don't know right now. And Auntie Ranta, you know, he's really taking the bull by the horns here. And, you know, in his playoff games that he's had, he's been fantastic. You know, and he's obviously dealt with injuries throughout his career. We're all well aware of that and you know, the stuff that he's had to overcome there. And then just this season, just in the past, shoot, month, you know, at the end of the regular season dealing with injuries, getting knocked out by Pasternak in, I think, 
this game too. And you know, dealing with that stuff and then coming back and playing out of his mind and, you know, being everything the Hurricanes wanted whenever they signed him and brought him in. And it'll be interesting to see what happens when Freddie is healthy, see what the Hurricanes decide to do. In my opinion, I think you go just go with the hot set of hands. Uh, I think you just stick with Ronta until he shows you that, you know, you need to change things up. It, but, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the ride, you know, for as long as he's in the net. Talk to me a little bit. Give me an unsung hero on as a forward and as a defenseman who really helped the Hurricanes win this first-round series. Oh, as a forward. That, mm, that one, I, I – The name that immediately comes to mind, not necessarily the most unsung, but Seth Jarvis. The kid is playing out of his mind. He's so freaking good. You know, he obviously scored uh, you know, two goals in game one. You know, he scored the first playoff goal for the Hurricanes this run. And you know, I just think yeah, he's flying a bit under the national radar. Yeah, obviously in Raleigh and North Carolina, yeah, folks are aware, well aware of you know, just how good he is and how good of a series he is having. But yeah, on the national level, it's the big names grabbing the headlines. I think Seth Jarvis, he's been great. Uh, you also look, I mean, just honorable mentions or whatever for your forwards, just your third line, Niederreiter, Stahl, Faust, great line. As far as defensemen go, uh, I would say Brett Pesci. I think he'd be the most unsung hero there on defense. I think he's had a really good series. Same with Jacob Slavin as well. Uh, yeah, he's obviously the bigger name, and you know neither of the guys are you know ones that you know put up a bunch of points or yeah you know, anything. They're not offensive defensemen. They are defensive defensemen, and they go out and play good defense. Jacob Slavin, you watch him, he puts on a clinic every single game. And, you know, Brett Pesci, he's been another guy. He's had a tremendous series and playing really, really good hockey. Jared, why don't you tell our listeners and our viewers where they could find the podcast and where they could find you on social media? Yeah, uh, you can find Locked on Hurricanes wherever you're listening or watching to this podcast. It's going to be on all streaming platforms and on YouTube at Locked On Hurricanes. You can find the show on Twitter and Instagram at LO underscore Hurricanes and myself on Twitter at Jared Ellis underscore 96. All right, Jared, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Always. Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Our partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's basketball playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs, Major League Baseball scores, fights, and even next season's NFL futures. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering information from live betting to playoffs, esports, and more. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about the trends and action. Bet Online, where the game starts. <laughs> 